Alteryx is a company with a long history that goes all the way back to the late 1990s. Now, the one consistent theme over 20 plus years has been that Alteryx has always been a data company. Early in the big data and Hadoop cycle, it saw the need to combine and prep different data types so that organizations could analyze data and take action. Alteryx and similar companies played a critical role in helping companies become data-driven. The problem was the decade of big data brought a lot of complexities and required immense skills just to get the technology to work as advertised. This, in turn, limited the pace of adoption and the number of companies that could really lean in and take advantage. Now, the cloud began to change all that and it set the foundation for today's theme du jour of digital transformation. We hear that phrase a ton, digital transformation. People used to think it was a buzzword, but of course we learned from the pandemic that if you're not a digital business, you're out of business. And a key tenet of digital transformation is democratizing data, meaning enabling not just hyper-specialized hyper experts, but anyone, business users, to put data to work. Now back to Alteryx. The company has embarked on a major transformation of its own over the past couple of years. Brought in new management, they've changed the way in which it engaged with, with customers with a new subscription model, and it's top graded its talent pool. 2021 was even more significant because of two acquisitions that Alteryx made, Hyperana and Trifacta. Why are these acquisitions important? Well, traditionally, Alteryx sold to business analysts that were part of the data pipeline. These were fairly technical people who had certain skills and were trained in things like writing Python code. With Hyperana, Alteryx has added a new persona, the business user, anyone in the business who wanted to gain insights from data and or let's say use AI without having to be a deep technical expert. And then Trifacta, a company started in the early days of big data by Cube alum Joe Hellerstein and his colleagues at Berkeley. They knocked down the data engineering persona, and this gives Alteryx a complementary extension into IT, where things like governance and security are paramount. So as we enter 2022, the post-isolation economy is here, and we do so with a digital foundation built on the confluence of cloud-native technologies, data, democratization, and machine intelligence, or AI, if you prefer. And Alteryx is entering that new era with an expanded portfolio, new go-to-market vectors, a recurring revenue business model, and a brand new outlook on how to solve customer problems and scale a company. My name is Dave Vellante with theCUBE, and I'll be your host today. In the next hour, we're going to explore the opportunities in this new data market, and we have three segments where we dig into these trends and themes. First, we'll talk to Jay Henderson, Vice President of Product Management at Alteryx about cloud acceleration and simplifying complex data operations. Then we'll bring in Suresh Vital, who's the Chief Product Officer at Alteryx, and Adam Wilson, the CEO of Trifacta, which of course is now part of Alteryx. And finally, we'll hear about how Alteryx is partnering with Snowflake in the ecosystem and how they're integrating with data platforms like Snowflake and what this means for customers. And we may have a few surprises sprinkled in as well into the conversation. Let's get started. We're kicking off the program with our first segment. Jay Henderson is the Vice President of Product Management at Alteryx. And we're going to talk about the trends in data, where we came from, how we got here, where we're going. We got some launch news. Hello, Jay, welcome to theCUBE. Great to be here. Really excited to share some of the things we're working on. Yeah, thank you. So look, you have a deep product background, product management, product marketing, you've done strategy work, you've been around software and data your entire career. And we're seeing the collision of software, data, cloud, machine intelligence. Let's start with the customer and maybe we can work back from there. So if you're an analytics or a data executive at an organization, Jay, what's your North Star? Where are you trying to take your company from a data and analytics point of view? Yeah, I mean, you know, look, I think all organizations are really struggling to get insights out of their data. I think one of the things that we see is you've got digital exhaust creating large volumes of data. Storage is really cheap, so it doesn't cost them much to keep it. And that results in a situation where the organizations 
you know, drowning in data, but somehow still starving for insights. And so I think, uh, you know, when I talk to customers, they're really excited to figure out how they can put analytics in the hands of every single person in their organization and really start to democratize the analytics um, and, you know, let the, the business users and the whole organization get value out of all of that data they have. And we're going to dig into that throughout this program. I mean, data, I like to say, is plentiful. Insights, not always so much. Tell us about your launch today, Jay, and thinking about the, the trends that you just highlighted, the direction that your customers want to go and the problems that you're solving. What role does the cloud play and, and what is what you're launching? How does that fit in? Yeah, we're, we're really excited today. We're launching the Altrix Analytics Cloud. That's really a portfolio of cloud-based solutions that have all been built from the ground up to be cloud native um, and to take advantage of things like browser-based access so that it's really easy to give anyone access, including folks on a Mac. Um, it, you know, it also lets you take advantage of elastic compute so that you can do you know, in-database processing and cloud native um, solutions that are, are going to scale to solve the most complex problems. So we've got a portfolio of uh, solutions, things like Designer Cloud, which is our flagship designer product in a browser and on the cloud. Uh, we've got Altrix Machine Learning, which helps upskill regular old analysts with advanced machine learning capabilities. We've got Auto Insights, which brings uh, business users into the fold and automatically unearths insights using AI and machine learning. And we've got our latest addition, which is Trifacta. That helps data engineers do data pipelining and really um, you know, create a lot of the underlying data sets that are used in some of this uh, downstream analytics. So let's dig into some of those roles, if we could, a little bit. I mean, you've, traditionally, Altrix has served the, the business analysts, and that's what Designer Cloud is fit for, I believe. And you've explained you know, kind of the scope, you, sorry, you've expanded that scope into the, to the business user with Hyperana. And we're, in a moment, we're going to talk to Adam Wilson and Suresh uh, about Trifacta. And that recent acquisition takes you, as you said, into the data engineering space and IT. But in thinking about the business analyst role, what's unique about Designer Cloud, cl cloud and how does it help these individuals? Yeah, I mean, you know, really, I go back to some of the feedback we've had from our customers, which is, um, you know, they oftentimes have dozens or hundreds of seats of our designer desktop product. You know, really, as they look to take the next step, they're trying to figure out how do I give access to that, that those types of analytics to thousands of people within the organization? And Designer Cloud is, is really great for that. You've got the browser-based interface. So if folks are on a Mac, they can really easily just you know, pop open the browser and get access to all of those uh, prep and blend capabilities to a lot of the analysis we're doing. Um, it's a great way to scale up access to the analytics and, and start to put it in the hands of really anyone in the organization, not just those highly skilled power users. Okay, great. So now then you add in the Hyperana acquisition. So now you're targeting the business user. Trifecta comes into the mix, uh, that deeper IT angle that we talked about. How does this all fit together? How should we be thinking about the new Altrix portfolio? Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, when you think about democratizing analytics and providing access to all these different groups of people, um, you've not been able to do it through one platform before. Um, you know, it's not going to be one interface that meets the needs of all these different groups within the organization. You really do need purpose-built, specialized capabilities for each group. And finally, today with the announcement of the Altrix Analytics Cloud, we've brought together all of those different capabilities, all of those different interfaces into a single end-to-end -end application. So really finally delivering on the promise of providing analytics to all. How much of this have you been able to share with your customers and maybe your, your partners? I mean, I know a lot of this is fairly new, but have you been able to get any feedback from them? What are they saying about it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, we ran a early access and limited availability program that let us put a lot of this technology in the hands of over 600 customers oh, wow. um, over the last few months. So we have gotten a lot of feedback. I tell you, um, it's been overwhelmingly positive. I think organizations are really excited to unlock the insights that have been hidden in all this data they've got. 
They're excited to be able to use analytics in every decision that they're making so that the decisions they have are more informed and produce better business outcomes. Um, and, and this idea that they're going to move from, you know, dozens to hundreds or thousands of people who have access to these kinds of capabilities, I think has been a really exciting thing that is going to accelerate the transformation that these customers are on. That's good. Those are good, good, good numbers for, for preview mode. Let's, let's talk a little bit about vision. So if democratizing data is the ultimate goal, which frankly has been elusive for most organizations, over time, how's your cloud going to address the challenges of putting data to work across the entire enterprise? Yeah, I mean, I tend to think about the future and some of the investments we're making in our products and our roadmap across four big themes. You know, and, the, and these are really kind of enduring themes that you're going to see us making investments in over the next few years. Um, the first is having cloud centricity. You know, the data gravity has been moving to the cloud. We need to be able to provide access um, to be able to ingest and manipulate that data, to be able to write back to it, to provide cloud solutions. So the first one is really around cloud centricity. The second is around big data fluency. Once you have all of the that data, you need to be able to manipulate it in a performant manner. So having the elastic cloud infrastructure and in-database processing is so important. The third is around making AI a strategic advantage. So uh, you know, getting everyone involved in accessing AI and machine learning to unlock those insights, getting it out of the hands of the small group of data scientists, putting it in the hands of analysts and business users. Um, and then the, the fourth thing is really providing access across the entire organization, you know, IT and data engineers, uh, as well as business uh, owners and, and analysts. So um, cloud centricity, big data fluency, um, AI is a strategic advantage, and uh, personas across the organization are really the, the four big themes you're going to see us uh, working on over the next few months and uh, coming, coming years. That's good. Thank you for that. So, so on a related question, how do you see the, the data organizations evolving? I mean, traditionally you've had, you know, monolithic organizations, uh, very specialized, or I might even say hyper-specialized roles. And, and your, your mission, of course, is the customer, you, you, you and your customers, they want to democratize the data. And so it seems logical that domain leaders are going to take more responsibility for data life cycles, data ownerships, low code becomes more important. And perhaps this kind of challenges the historically highly centralized and, and really specialized roles that I just talked about. How do you see that evolving and, and, and what role will Alteryx play? Yeah, um, you know, I think we'll see sort of a more federated system start to emerge. Those centralized groups are going to continue to exist. Um, but they're going to start to empower, you know, in a in a much more decentralized way, the people who are closer to the business problems and have better business understanding. I think that's going to let the centralized, highly skilled teams work on uh, problems that are of higher value to the organization. The kinds of problems where one or two percent lift in the model result in millions of dollars a day for the business. And then by pushing some of the analytics out to uh, closer to the edge and closer to the business, you'll be able to you know, apply those analytics in every single decision. So I think you're going to see you know, both the decentralized and centralized models start to work in, in harmony in a little bit more of a almost a federated sort of uh, way. And I think you know, the exciting thing for us at Alteryx is you know, we want to facilitate that. We want to give analytic capabilities and solutions to both groups and types of people. We want to help them collaborate better um, and drive business outcomes with the analytics they're using. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I, what my take on it, I wonder if you could comment is, to me, the technology should be an operational detail and it has been the, the, the dog that wags the tail or maybe the other way around. You mentioned digital exhaust before. I mean, essentially it's digital exhaust coming out of operational systems that then it, it somehow eventually end up in the hand of the domain users. And, and I wonder if increasingly we're going to see those domain us, users, those, those line of business experts get more access, that's your goal, and then even go beyond analytics, start to build data products that can be monetized. And that maybe it's going to take a decade to play out, but that is sort of a new era of data. Do you, do you see it that way? 
Absolutely. We're actually making big investments in our products and capabilities to be able to create analytic applications and to enable somebody who's an analyst or business user to create an application on top of the data and analytics layers that they have, um, really to help um, democratize the analytics, to help prepackage some of the analytics that can drive more insight. So I think that's definitely a trend we're going to see more of. Yeah, and to your point, if you can federate the governance and automate that, yep. then that can Absolutely. happen. I mean, that's a key part of it, obviously. So, yep. all right, Jay, we have to leave it there. Up next, we take a deep dive into the Altrix recent acquisition of Trifactor with Adam Wilson, who led Trifactor for more than seven years, and Suresh Vital is the chief product officer at Altrix, to explain the rationale behind the acquisition and how it's going to impact customers. Keep it right there. You're watching theCUBE, your leader in enterprise tech coverage. It's go time. Get ready to accelerate your data analytics journey with a unified cloud native platform that's accessible for everyone on the go, from home to office and everywhere in between. Effortless analytics to help you go from ideas to outcomes in no time. It's your time to shine. It's Alteryx Analytics Cloud Time. Okay, we're here with Suresh Vital, who's the Chief Product Officer at Alteryx, and Adam Wilson, the CEO of Trifacta, now of course part of Alteryx. Just closed this quarter. Gentlemen, welcome. Great nice to be here. Okay, Suresh, let me start with you. In my opening remarks, I talked about Alteryx's traditional position serving business analysts and how the Hyperana acquisition brought you deeper into the, the business user space. What does Trifacta bring to your portfolio? Why'd you buy the company? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the question. Um, you know, we see a we see a massive opportunity of helping um, brands um, democratize the use of analytics across uh, their business. Um, every knowledge worker, every individual in the company should have access to analytics. It's no longer optional um, as they navigate uh, their businesses. With that in mind, you know we know designer and our, the products that Alteryx has been selling the past decade or so uh, do, do a really great job um, addressing the business analysts. Uh, with um, Hyperana, uh, now kind of uh, renamed um, um, Alteryx Auto Insights, uh, we even speak with the uh, business owner, the line of business owner, who's looking for insights that aren't revealed in traditional dashboards and so on. Um, but we see this opportunity of really helping the data engineering teams and IT organizations um, to also make better use of analytics. Um, and that's where Trifecta comes in for us. Um, Trifecta has the best data engineering cloud in the planet. Um, they have an established track record of working across multiple cloud platforms and helping data engineers um, do better data pipelining and work better with uh, this massive kind of cloud transformation um, that's happening in every business. Um, and so Trifecta made so much sense for us. Yeah, thank you for that. I mean, look, you could have built it yourself, would have taken, you know, who knows how long, you know, but uh, so definitely a great time to market move. Adam, I wonder if we could dig into Trifecta some more. I mean, I remember interviewing Joe Hellerstein in the early days. You've talked about this as well on, uh, on theCUBE. Coming at the problem of taking data from raw, refined to an experience point of view. And, and, and Joe in the early days talked about flipping the model and starting with data visualization, something Jeff Herr was expert at. So maybe explain how we got here. We used to have this cumbersome process of ETL and you maybe and some others changed that model with you know, EL and then T. Explain how Trifecta really changed the data engineering game. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right, uh, Dave. And it, it's been a really interesting journey for us because I think the original hypothesis coming out of the campus research uh, at Berkeley and Stanford that really birthed Trifecta was, you know, why is it that the people who know the data best can't do the work? You know, why has this become the exclusive purview of the highly technical? And, you know, can we rethink this and make this uh, a user experience problem powered by machine learning that will take some of the more complicated things that people want to do with data 
and really help to automate those so so uh, a broader set of of users can um, can really see for themselves and help themselves and and I think that um, there was a lot of pent up frustration out there because people have been told for you know for a decade now to be more data driven and then the whole time they're saying well then give me the data you know, in the shape that I can use it with the right level of quality. And I'm happy to be, but don't tell me to be more data driven and they'll, don't then, and, and not empower me um, to, to get in there and to actually start to work with the data in meaningful ways. And so um, that was really, you know, what, you know, the origin story of the company. And I think as, as we um, you know, saw over the course of the last five, six, seven years that, um, you know, a real uh, excitement to embrace this idea of, of trying to think about data engineering differently, trying to democratize the, the ETL process and to also leverage all these exciting new uh, engines and platforms that are out there that allow for you know, processing you know, ever more diverse data sets, ever larger data sets in new and interesting ways. And that's where a lot of the push down or the ELT approaches, uh, you know, I think have really won the day. Um, and, that, and that for us was a hallmark of the solution from the very beginning. Yeah, this is a huge point that you're making. This is, first of all, this is a large business. It's probably about a hundred billion dollar TAM. Uh, and and the, the point you're making, we've, look, we've contextualized most of our operational systems, but <laughs> the big data pipeline is, hasn't gotten there. But, but and, and maybe we could talk about that a little bit because democratizing data is nirvana, but it's been historically very difficult. You've got a number of companies, it's very fragmented and they're all trying to attack their little piece of the problem to achieve an outcome, but it's been hard. And so what's going to be different about Altrix as you bring these puzzle pieces together? How is this going to impact your customers? Who would like to take that one? Yeah, maybe maybe I'll take a crack at it and, and Adam will um, add on. Um, you know, there hasn't been, Dave, a single platform uh, for analytics automation in the enterprise, right? People have relied on uh, different products um, to solve kind of uh, smaller problems um, across this analytics automation, data transformation domain. Um, and um, I think uniquely Altrix has that opportunity. Uh, we've got 7,000 plus customers who rely on analytics for um, data management, for analytics, for AI and ML, uh, for transformations, uh, for reporting and visualization, for automated insights and so on. Um, and so by bringing Trifecta, we have the opportunity to scale this even further and solve for more use cases, expand the scenarios where analytics gets applied and serve multiple personas. Um, and now we just talked about the data engineers. They are really a growing stakeholder in this transformation of data analytics. Yeah, good. Maybe we can stay on this for a minute because you, you, you're right. You're bringing together now the, at least three personas, the business analyst, the end user, slash business user, and now the data engineer, which is really, Adam, an IT role in a lot of companies. And, and you've used this term, the data engineering cloud. What is that? How is it going to integrate in, in, with or support these other personas? And, and how's it going to integrate into the broader ecosystem of, of clouds and cloud data warehouses or any other data stores? Yeah, no, that's great. Uh, you know, I think for us, we really looked at this and said, you know, we want to build an open and interactive, you know, cloud platform for data engineers, you know, to collaboratively profile, pipeline, um, and prepare data for analysis. And, and that really meant collaborating with the analysts that were in the line of business. And so this is why, uh, a big reason why this combination is so magic, because Ultimately, if we can get the data engineers that are creating the data products together with the analysts that are uh, in the line of business that are driving a lot of the decision making and allow for that, uh, what I would describe as collaborative curation, you know, of the data together so that you're starting to see, um, uh, you know, increasing returns to scale as this, uh, as this rolls out. I just think that is an incredibly uh, powerful combination and, and frankly something that the market has not cracked the code on yet and so um, I think when we when I sat down with Suresh and with Mark and and the team at, at Altrix that was really part of the, the the big idea the big vision that that was painted and and got us really energized um, about the acquisition and about the the potential of the combination yeah and you're really you're obviously riding the cloud and the cloud native wave um, and and but specifically we're seeing you know, I almost don't even want to call it a data warehouse anyway, because when you look at what, for instance, Snowflake's doing, of course their marketing is around the data cloud, but I, I actually think 
there's real justification for that because it's not like the traditional data warehouse, right? It's, it's simplified, get there fast, don't necessarily have to go through this central organization to share data. Uh, and, 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 but it's really all about simplification, right? Isn't that really what the democratization comes down to? Yeah, it's, it's simplification and collaboration, right? I don't want to, I want to kind of just, uh, what, what Adam said resonates with me deeply. Um, analytics is one of those uh, massive disciplines inside an enterprise that's really had the weakest of tools um, and weakest of interfaces to collaborate with. And I think truly this was Altrix's kind of superpower was helping the analysts get more out of their data, get more out of the analytics. Like imagine a world where these people are collaborating and sharing insights in real time and sharing workflows and getting access to new data sources, um, understanding data models better. I think um, uh, curating those insights, I'm borrowing Adam's phrase again, um, I think that creates uh, a real value inside the organization uh, because frankly, in scaling analytics and democratizing analytics and data, we're still in such early phases of this journey. So how should we think about Designer Cloud, which is from Altrix? It's really been the on-prem or the server or desktop you know, offering. And of course, Trifecta is about cloud, cloud data warehouses, right? Uh, uh, how, how should we think about those two products? Yeah, I think, I think you should think about them and, uh, um, as, as very complementary, right? Designer Cloud really shares a lot of DNA and heritage with uh, Designer Desktop. Um, the low code tooling and that interface uh, that really appeals to the business analysts um, and gets a lot of the things that they do well. We've also built it with interoperability in mind, right? So if you started building your workflows in Designer Desktop, you want to share that with Designer Cloud, we want to make it super easy for you to do that. Um, and I think over time now, we're only a week into um, this uh, alliance with, um, with um, Trifacta. Um, I think we have to get deeper and start to think about what does the data engineer really need? What does the business analyst really need? And how do designer cloud and Trifacta really support both of those requirements uh, while kind of continue to build on the Trifacta, on the amazing Trifacta cloud platform. You know, and I think that's, go ahead, Adam, I, think that's, I was just going to say, I think that's one of the things that, um, you know, creates a lot of uh, opportunity as we go forward because ultimately, you know, Trifacta took a platform uh, first mentality to everything that we built. So thinking about openness and extensibility and um, and how over time people could build things on top of Trifacta that are a variety of analytic tool chain or analytic applications. And so uh, when you think about um, Altrix now starting to, uh, to move some of its capabilities or to provide additional capabilities uh, in the cloud, um, you know, Trifacta becomes uh, a, a platform that can accelerate, you know, all of that work and, and create a, a, a cohesive set of, of cloud-based services that um, share a common platform and that maintains independence because both companies um, have been, uh, you know, fiercely independent uh, in, in really giving people choice. Um, so making sure that whether you're uh, you know, picking one cloud platform or another, whether you're running things on the desktop, uh, whether you're running in hybrid environments, that um, no matter what your decision, um, you're always in a position to be able to get at your data. You're always in a position to be able to cleanse, transform, shape, structure that data, and ultimately to deliver uh, the analytics that you need. And so I think in, in that sense, um, uh, you know, this, this again is another reason why the combination, you know, fits so well together, giving people um, the choice, um, and as they as they think about their analytics strategy and, and their platform strategy going forward, you know, I make you chuckle. But I, one of the reasons I always liked Altrix is because you kind of did did a little end run on IT. IT can be a blocker sometimes, but that created problems, right? Because the organization said, "Wow, this big data stuff is taking off, but we need security, we need governance." And and it was interesting because you got, you know, ET, ETL has been complex, whereas the visualization tools they really you know, really weren't great at governance and, and security. It took some time there. So that's not, not their heritage. You're bringing those worlds together. And I'm interested, you guys just had your sales kickoff. You know, what was the reaction like? Uh, maybe Suresh, you could start off and maybe Adam, you could bring us home. Yeah, um, thanks for asking about our sales kickoff. So we met 
um, for the first time in kind of two years, right? For as, as it is for many of us um, in person, uh, um, which I think was a was a real breakthrough as Altrix has been on its transformation journey. Uh, we had a trifactor to um, the, the party, such as it were, um, and getting all of our sales teams and product organizations um, to meet in person in one location. I thought that was very powerful for us as a company. Uh, but then I tell you, um, um, the reception for Trifecta was beyond anything I could have imagined. Uh, we were working, Adam and I were working so hard on on the, the deal and the core hypotheses and so on. And then you step back and you kind of share the vision uh, with the field organization and it blows you away the energy that it creates among our um, sellers, our partners. Um, I'm sure Adam and his team were mobbed um, every single day uh, with questions and opportunities to bring them in. But Adam, maybe you should share. Yeah, no, it was... Uh... It was through the roof. I mean, uh, the uh, the amount of energy, the uh, when so certainly how welcoming everybody was. Uh, uh, you know, just I think the story makes so much sense together. I think culturally the companies are very aligned, um, and uh, it was a real uh, real capstone moment uh, to be able to complete the acquisition and to and to close and announce. You know, at the kickoff event, and um, I think you know for us. When we really thought about it, you know, when we and the story that we told was just you have this opportunity to really cater to what the end users, you know, care about, which is a lot about interactivity and self service. And at the same time, and that's and that's a lot of the goodness that um, that Ultrix has has brought, you know, through you know, you know, years and years of of building a very vibrant community of you know thousands, hundreds of thousands of users. And on the other side, you know, Trifacta bringing in this data engineering focus that's really about uh, the governance things that you mentioned and the openness um, that that IT cares deeply about. And all of a sudden now you have a chance to put that together into a complete story where the data engineering cloud and analytics automation, you know, come together. And um, and I just think, it, you know, the lights went on, um, you know, for people instantaneously. And, you know, this is a story that um, that I think the market is really hungry for. And, and certainly the reception we got from uh, from the broader team at kickoff was uh, was a great indication of that. Well, I think the story hangs together really well. You know, one of the better ones I've seen in, in this space. Um, and, and you guys coming off a really, really strong quarter. So congratulations on that. Gents, we have to leave it there. Really appreciate your time today. Yeah. Take a look at this short video. And when we come back, we're going to dig into the ecosystem and the integration into cloud data warehouses and how leading organizations are creating modern data teams and accelerating their digital businesses. You're watching theCUBE, your leader in enterprise tech coverage. This is your data, housed neatly and securely in the Snowflake Data Cloud. And all of it has potential, the potential to solve complex business problems, deliver personalized financial offerings, protect supply chains from disruption, cut costs, forecast, grow and innovate. All you need to do is put your data in the hands of the right people and give it an opportunity. Luckily for you, that's the easy part because Snowflake works with Alteryx, and Alteryx turns data into breakthroughs. With just a click, your organization can automate analytics with drag and drop building blocks. Easily access Snowflake data with both SQL and NoSQL options. Share insights powered by Alteryx data science and push processing to Snowflake for lightning fast performance. You get answers you can put to work and your teams get repeatable processes they can share. And that's exciting, because not only is your data no longer sitting around in silos, it's also mobilized for the next opportunity. Turn your data into a breakthrough. Alteryx and Snowflake. Okay, we're back here on theCUBE, focusing on the business promise of the cloud, democratizing data, making it accessible, and enabling everyone to get value from analytics, insights, and data. We're now moving into the ecosystem segment, the power of many versus the resources of one, and we're pleased to welcome Barb Hulskamp, who's the Senior Vice President of Partners and Alliances at Alteryx, and a special guest, Tarek Dewik, Head of Technology Alliances at Snowflake. Folks, welcome, good to see you. Thank you, thanks for having me. Good to see you, Dave. Great to see you guys. So cloud migration, it's one of the hottest topics. It's the top 
one of the top initiatives of senior technology leaders. We have survey data with our partner ETR. It's number two behind security and just ahead of analytics. So we're hovering around all the hot topics here. Barb, what are you seeing with respect to customer you know, cloud migration momentum and how does the Altrix partner strategy fit? Yeah, sure. Partners are central to our company strategy. They, they always have been. We recognize that our partners have deep customer relationships. And when you connect that with their domain expertise, they're really helping customers on their cloud and business transformation journey. We've been helping customers achieve their desired outcomes with our partner community for quite some time. And our partner base has been growing an average of 30% year over year. That partner community and strategy now addresses several kinds of partners spanning solution providers to global SIs and technology partners such as Snowflake. And together we help our customers realize the business promise of their journey to the cloud. Snowflake provides a scalable storage system. Altrix provides the business user friendly front end. So for example, IT departments depend on Snowflake to consolidate data across systems into one data cloud. With Altrix, business users can easily unlock that data in Snowflake, solving real business outcomes. Our GSI and solution provider partners are instrumental in providing that end-to-end -end benefit of a modern analytics stack in the cloud, providing platform guidance, deployment support, and other professional services. Great, let's get a little bit more into the, the, the relationship between Altrix and, and Snowflake, the partnership, maybe a little bit about the history, you know, so what are the critical aspects that we should really focus on? Barb, maybe you could start and then Tarek kindly weigh in as well. Yeah, so the relationship started in 2020 and Altrix made a big battle deep with Snowflake, co-innovating and optimizing cloud use cases. Together, we are supporting customers who are looking for that modern analytics stack to replace an old one or to implement their first analytics strategy. And our joint customers want to self-serve with data-driven analytics, leveraging all the benefits of the cloud, scalability, accessibility, governance, and optimizing their costs. Um, Altrix proudly achieved Snowflake's highest elite tier in their partner program last year. And to do that, we completed a rigorous third-party testing process, which also helped us make some recommended improvements to our joint stack. We wanted customers to have confidence they would benefit from high quality and performance in their investment with us. Then to help customers get the most value out of this joint solution, we developed two great assets. One is the Altrix starter kit for Snowflake, and we co-authored a joint best practices guide. The starter kit contains documentation, business workflows and videos helping customers to get going more easily with an Altrix and Snowflake solution. And the best practices guide is more of a technical document bringing together experiences and guidance on how Altrix and Snowflake can be deployed together. Internally, we also built a full enablement catalog of resources, right? We wanted to provide our account executives with more about the value of the Snowflake relationship, how to engage and some best practices. And now we have hundreds of joint customers such as Juniper and Sainsbury who are actively using our joint solution, solving big business problems much faster. Cool. Tarek, can you give us your perspective on the partnership? Yeah, definitely, Dave. So as Bart mentioned, we've got this long-standing, very successful partnership going back years with hundreds of happy joint customers. And when I look at the beginning, Alteryx has helped pioneer the concept of self-service analytics, um, especially with use cases that we worked on with for, for data prep for BI users like Tableau. And as Altrix has evolved to now becoming, from data prep to now becoming a full end-to-end -end data science platform, it's really opened up a lot more opportunities for a partnership. Altrix has invested heavily over the last two years in areas of deep integration for customers to fully be able to expand their investment in both technologies. And, and those investments include things like in-database push down, right? So customers can, can leverage that elastic platform, that being the Snowflake Data Cloud, uh, with Altrix orchestrating the end-to-end -end machine learning workflows. Altrix also invested heavily in Snowpark, a feature we released last year around this concept of data programmability. So all users, regardless if they're business analysts, regardless if they're data scientists, uh, can use their tools of choice in, in order to consume and get at data. And now with Altrix Cloud, we think it's going to open up even more opportunities. It's, it's going to be a big year for the partnership. Yeah, so you know, Tarek, we, we've covered Snowflake pretty extensively and you, initially solved what I used to call the, I still call the snake swallowing the basketball problem. I mean, cloud 
data warehouse changed all that because you had virtually infinite resources. But so that's obviously one of the problems that you guys solved early on. But what are some of the common challenges or patterns or trends that you see with Snowflake customers and, and where does Altrix come in? Sure, Dave, there's, there's a handful um, that I can come up with today that are big challenges or trends for us and Altrix really helps us across all of them. Um, there are three particular ones I'm going to talk about. The first one being self-service analytics. If, if we think about it, every organization is trying to democratize data. Every organization wants to empower all their users, business users, um, you know, the, the technology users, but the business users, right? I think every, every organization has realized that if everyone has access to data and everyone can do something with data, it's going to make them competitively, give them a competitive advantage. With Alteryx and Snowflake, we share that vision of putting that power in the hands of everyday users, regardless of the skill sets. So um, with self-service analytics, with Alteryx Designer, they've, they started out with self-service analytics as the forefront. And we're just scratching the surface. I think there was an analyst um, report uh, that shows that less than 20% of organizations are truly getting self-service analytics to their end users. Now with Alteryx going to Alteryx Cloud, we think that's going to be a huge opportunity for us. Um, and then that opens up the second challenge, which is machine learning and AI. Every organization is trying to get predictive analytics into every application that they have in order to be competitive. In order to be competitive, um, and with Alteryx creating this platform so they can cater to both the everyday business user, the quote-unquote citizen data scientist, and making it code friendly for data scientists to be able to get at their notebooks and all the different tools that they want to use. Um, they fully integrated in our Snow Park platform, which I talked about before, so that now we get an end-to-end -end solution catering to all, all lines of business. And then finally, this concept of data marketplaces, right? We, we created Snowflake from the ground up to be able to solve the data sharing problem, the, the big data problem, the data sharing problem. And Alteryx, um, if, if we look at mobilizing your data, getting access to third-party data sets to enrich with your own data sets, to enrich with um, with your suppliers and with your partners' data sets. That's what all customers are trying to do in order to get a more comprehensive 360 view um, within their, their data applications. And so with Alteryx, Alteryx has been working on third-party data sets and marketplaces for quite some time. Now we're working on how do we integrate what Alteryx is providing with, with the Snowflake data marketplace so that we can enrich these workflows, these great, great workflows that Alteryx already provides. Now we can add third-party data into that workflow. So that opens up a ton of opportunities, Dave. So those are three I see uh, easily that we're going to be able to solve a lot of customer challenges with. Excellent, thank you for that, Tarek. So let's, let's stay on cloud a little bit. I mean, Alteryx is undergoing a major transformation, big focus on the cloud. How does this cloud launch impact the partnership, Tarek, from Snowflake's perspective? And then Barb, maybe please add some color. Yeah, sure, Dave. Snowflake started as a cloud data platform. We saw our founders really saw the challenges that customers were having with, with becoming data driven. And the biggest challenge was the complexity of having to manage infrastructure uh, to even be able to, to get applications off the ground. And so we created Snowflake to be cloud native. We created to be a SaaS managed service. So now that, that Alteryx is moving to the same model, right? A cloud platform, uh, a SaaS managed service, we're just, we're just removing more of the friction. So we're going to be able to start to package these end-to-end -end solutions that are SaaS-based, that are fully managed, so customers can, can go faster. They don't have to worry about all of the underlying complexities of, of, of stitching things together, right? So, um, so that's what's exciting from my viewpoint. Yeah, and I'll follow up. So as you said, we're investing heavily in the cloud. A year ago, we had two pre desktop products, and today we have four cloud products. With cloud, we can provide our users with more flexibility. We want to make it easier for the users to leverage their Snowflake data in the Alteryx platform, whether they're using our beloved on-premise solution or the new cloud products. We're committed to that continued investment in the cloud, enabling our joint partner solutions to meet customer requirements wherever they store their data. And with working with Snowflake, we're doing just that. So as customers look for a modern analytics stack, they expect that data to be easily accessible, right? Within a fast, secure, and scalable platform. And the launch of our cloud strategy is a huge leap forward in making Alteryx more widely accessible to all users in all types of roles. Our GSI and our solution provider partners have asked for these cloud capabilities at scale, and they're excited to better support our customers' cloud and analytic ambitions. Barb, how about you go to market? 
strategy. How, how would you describe your joint go-to-market strategy with Snowflake? Sure. It's simple. We've got to work backwards from our customers' challenges, right? Driving transformation to solve problems, gain efficiencies, or help them save money. So whether it's with Snowflake or other GSIs, other partner types, we've outlined a joint journey together from recruit, solution development, activation, enablement, and then strengthening our go-to-market strategies to optimize our results together. We launched an updated partner program, and within that framework, we've created new benefits for our partners around opportunity registration, new role-based enablement and training, basically extending everything we do internally for our own go-to-market teams to our partners. We're offering partner marketing resources and funding to reach new customers together. And as a matter of fact, we recently launched a fantastic video with Snowflake. I love this video that very simply describes the path to insight, starting with your Snowflake data, right? We do joint customer webinars. We're working on joint hands-on labs and have a wonderful landing page with a lot of assets for our customers. Once we have an interested customer, we engage our respective account managers, collaborating through discovery questions, proof of concepts, really showcasing the desired outcome. And when you combine that with our partner's technology or domain expertise, it's quite powerful. Tarek, how, how do you see it, your go-to-market strategy? Yeah, Dave, we've, um, so we initially started selling, we initially sold Snowflake as technology, right? Uh, looking at positioning the, the architectural differentiators and the scale and concurrency. And we noticed as we got up into the larger enterprise customers, we we're starting to see how do they solve their business problems using the technology, as well as them coming to us and saying, look, we want to also know how do, you, how do you continue to map back to the specific prescriptive business problems we're having. And so we shifted to an industry focus uh, last year. And this is an area where Alteryx has been mature for uh, probably since their inception, selling to the line of business, right? Having prescriptive use cases that are particular to an industry like financial services, like retail, like healthcare and life sciences. And so um, Barb talked about these, these starter kits where it's prescriptive, you've got a, a demo and um, a way that customers can get off the ground and running, right? Because we want to be able to shrink that time to market, that time to value that customers can launch these applications. And we want to be able to, to, to tell them specifically how we can map back to their business initiatives. So I see a huge opportunity to align on these industry solutions. As Barb mentioned, we're already doing that where we've released a few around financial services, we're working on healthcare and retail as well. So that is going to be a way for us to let, allow customers to go even faster and start to map to the lines of business with Alteryx. Great, thanks, Tarek. Barb, what can we expect if we're observing, you know, this relationship, what should we look for in the coming year? A lot. <laughs> Specifically with Snowflake, we'll continue to invest in the partnership. Uh, we're co-innovators in this journey, including Snowpark extensibility efforts, which Derek will tell you more about shortly. We're also launching these great new strategic solution blueprints and extending that at no charge to our partners. With Snowflake, we're already collaborating with their retail and CPG team for industry blueprints. We're working with their data marketplace team to highlight solutions working with that data in their marketplace. More broadly, as I mentioned, we're relaunching the Alteryx Partner Program, designed to really better support the unique partner types in our global ecosystem, introducing new benefits so that with every partner achievement or investment with Alteryx, we're providing our partners with earlier access to benefits. Um, I could talk about our program for 30 minutes. I know we don't have that kind of time, but the key message here, Alteryx is investing in our partner community across the business, recognizing the incredible value that they bring to our customers every day. Great, Tarek, we'll give you the last word. What should we be looking for from, from this part? Yeah, thanks, thanks, Dave. As Barb mentioned, you know, Alteryx has been at the forefront of innovating with us. They've been integrating into uh, making sure, again, that customers get the full investment out of Snowflake, things like in-database pushdown that I talked about before. But extensibility is really what we're excited about. Um, the ability for Alteryx to plug into this extensibility framework that we call Snowpark and to be able to extend out um, ways that the end users can consume Snowflake through through SQL, which has traditionally been the way that you consume Snowflake, as well as Java and Scala, and now Python. So we're excited about those, those capabilities. And then we're also excited about the ability to plug into the data marketplace, to provide third-party data sets, right? Third-party data sets in, in financial services, third-party data sets in retail. So now customers can build their data applications from end to end using Alteryx on Snowflake, 
with the comprehensive 360 view of their customers, of their partners, of the, even their employees, right? I think it's exciting to see what we're gonna be able to do, do together with these upcoming innovations. Great stuff. Barb, Tarek, thanks so much for coming on the program. Got to leave it right there. In a moment, I'll be back with some closing thoughts in a summary. Don't go away. hours of wind tunnel testing, 30 million race simulations, 2.4 second pit stops. Make that 2.3. Sector times out the wazoo. Way too much of this. Velocities, pressures, temperatures, 80,000 components generating 11.8 billion data points, and one analytics platform to make sense of it all. When McLaren needs to turn complex data into winning insights, they turn to Alltrix. Alltrix, analytics automation. Okay, let's summarize and wrap up the session. We can pretty much agree that data is plentiful, but organizations continue to struggle to get maximum value out of their data investments. The ROI has been elusive. There are many reasons for that. Complexity, data trust, silos, lack of talent and the like. But the opportunity to transform data operations and drive tangible value is immense. Collaboration across various roles and disciplines is part of the answer, as is democratizing data. This means putting data in the hands of those domain experts that are closest to the customer and really understand where the opportunity exists and how to best address them. We heard from Jay Henderson that we have all this data exhaust and cheap storage that allows us to keep it for a long time. It's true, but as he pointed out, that doesn't solve the fundamental problem. Data is spewing out from our operational systems, but much of it lacks business context for the data teams chartered with analyzing that data. So we heard about the trend toward low code development and federating data access. The reason this is important is because the business lines have the context and the more responsibility they take for data, the more quickly and effectively organizations are going to be able to put data to work. We also talked about the harmonization between centralized teams and enabling decentralized data flows. I mean, after all, data by its very nature is distributed. And importantly, as we heard from Adam Wilson and Suresh Vital, to support this model, you have to have strong governance and service the needs of IT and engineering teams. And that's where tr the trifecta acquisition fits into the equation. Finally, we heard about a key partnership between Alteryx and Snowflake and how the migration to cloud data warehouses is evolving into a global data cloud. This enables data sharing across teams and ecosystems and vertical markets at massive scale, all while maintaining the governance required to protect the organizations and individuals alike. This is a new and emerging business model that is very exciting and points the way to the next generation of data innovation in the coming decade, where decentralized domain teams get more facile access to data, self-service, take more responsibility for quality, value, and data innovation. While at the same time, the governance, security, and privacy edicts of an organization are centralized and programmatically enforced throughout an enterprise and an external ecosystem. This is Dave Vellante. Remember, all these videos are available on demand at thecube.net and altrix.com. Thanks for watching. Accelerating automated analytics in the cloud made possible by Altrix. And thanks for watching theCUBE, your leader in enterprise tech coverage. We'll see you next time.